वेलकम टू रेड्स सो इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टेंस ओके सो इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन अनदर योर स्टोरी ओके योर स्टोरी दैट इज री ध्यान विंकिंग इट इज फ्रॉम योर क्लास फाइव इंग्लिश बुक okay so let us know about the story the dhan punkil so the title of this story is the dhan punkil is the name of a person okay a young man named ri dhan punkil okay so here in this story uh, we will came to know about a person uh, which is universal the theme of this story is universal here a person ri dhan punkil is trying to escape from the worldly responsibilities okay and from his family to stay alone with his thoughts okay so uh, by reading this story we will uh, know about how a person or uh, a man in this world wants in every moment and wants to escape from this uh, from the responsibilities and Here, Rip Van Rip Van Winkle also wants to escape from his nagging wife and from his family responsibilities. Okay, though he he was a man of kind hearted and helping by nature, but he was a le uh, lazy man. Okay, so that is why his wife was always nagging with him. Okay, so let us know. Uh, the story by reading it. So Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle was a simple-minded young man. He made friends easily and was popular with all the people in his village. He went out of his way to lend a hand to people who needed help. His only fault was that he was lazy. He would spend hours just gazing at the sky and doing absolutely nothing to help around the house. His wife, Dame Van Winkle. Okay, so his name, uh, his wife's name was Dame Van Winkle. Nagged him all the time. So here in the first paragraph, we can see that Rip Van Winkle is a person. Who is helping and kind-hearted to others? Okay, but he was a lazy man. Though he was a simple-minded, simple-minded means not clever or intelligent, but he was popular, popular in his village, and all the people loved him very much for his helping nature. So, uh, <coughs> though he was uh, a simple minded and helping man but he was lazy so that is why his wife then then will always nagging with him all the time nagging means to keep complaining about something continuously okay then one day fed up of his wife's nagging and stones rip picked up his gun Whistle, whistle to his dog, the owl, okay, and set off on a long walk into the Catskill Mountains. He wanted to be alone with his thoughts and as far away from his wife as he possibly could. He possibly could. So, being irritated or uh, being annoyed. With the nagging of his wife, uh, of his wife, why he decided to take rest or to run away from his home, leaving all the responsibilities and the irritating uh, or the nagging of his wife. So he uh, he along with his gun and his dog pulled. He set up. Set up means to start a journey towards a definitely definite direction. Okay. So he set up a long walk into the 
Catskill Mountains. And he wanted to be along with his thoughts as far as possible and as far away as from his wife. Then, on reaching the base of the mountain, Rip met an old man who was bent double, carrying a heavy barrel on his back. The man was dressed in, a, in an odd assortment of clothes and looked rather strange to Rip. Okay, so on his way to the Catskill Mountains, Rip Van Winkle met an old man who was a strange man and was dressed in an assortment. Assortment means a collection of different things, a mixture of uh, a lot of things. Okay, so it means assortment. So the dress that the old man was wearing was or a kind of assortment okay so was designed in a strange manner so uh, then Rip was a considerate fellow okay so that old man was carrying a barrel okay barrel means a cylindrical container okay that contains the liquids okay so a cylindrical container a cask so the old man was carrying a barrel and it was double heavy. Okay? So it was so heavy that the old man was bented down. So that is why as the Rip Dan was a kind hearted man and was a considerate fellow, without a second thought, he went toward the old man and asked to help him. Okay? So let me give you a hand, old man. Okay, so uh, who said? Rip Van Winkle said, Let me give you a hand, old man. Okay, said Rip helpfully. He, uh, he took the barrel from the old man and together they trod up the mountain side. Okay, so trod up means, uh, trod up means to uh, walk slowly with heavy steps. Okay, so they together walk to our the mountains in a uh, in a trot up okay so trot up means to walk slowly uh, slowly with heavy steps because uh, the man was carrying a barrel okay and rip van rip van was helping him by carrying the barrel from him so it was heavy so they trot up the mountain side they had walked a few miles when they came across some men sitting around and playing a game of skittles. They were all talking occasional sweets. Okay, they were all taking occasional sweets of a strange looking dark liquid from a large decanter. Okay, so decanter means a glass, often it is designed. Okay, decanter means a glass bottle upon decorated. Sweets means to drink something quickly. Then skittle. Skittle a game in which a ball is rolled at nine pins and knocked down as many as possible. So it is one, one type of game that is skittle. So they came across these men, these strange men. They were sitting around and were playing the game skittle. They were all talking, they were all taking occasional sweets. Okay? Sweets means to drink something quickly. So they were drinking a strange looking dark liquid from a large decanter, from a glass uh, bottle. Okay? Then they were wearing the same, the same old clothes as the old man wore. And they seemed to know. Yeah, they seemed to know him, for they held him as soon as they saw the and the man approach. Okay, so here is the word held. Okay, so held means to call out to someone. Okay, so as soon as the strange man, the men who were sitting around and drinking or taking sweets of strange looking dark liquid, they as soon as they looked at the 
Rip Van Winkle, they call out him. Call out means help to call out to someone. So they help him as soon as they saw. The old man gratefully sat down. Okay, so the old man with, uh, who was with Rip Van Winkle was looking like this strange man. Okay, it was, uh, it seemed that the old man was from this, uh, from that group of men, group of people. So the old man gratefully sat down, come and play with us, he said to Rip. Okay, the old man said to Rip that come and play with them. <coughs> then, you have been most kind. Being the friendly fellow, he was Rip agreed at once. Soon he too was playing skittle, skittles with the men. He took several swigs of the drink that was quite refreshing. Soon he began to feel asleep. <coughs> he began to feel sleepy and yawned loudly. Okay, so the men, the strange men offered him the sweet, okay, the drinks and as Rip Van Winkle was a, a kind-hearted and considerate man, readily he agreed to take part with them, okay. So, as soon as he uh, took part uh, from, uh, <laughs> took, uh, took part with them, he also drank sweets of this drink, okay. So, after a single uh, sweet, he also takes the another one and after some time, he felt asleep, okay. So, he began to feel asleep and began loudly. So, uh, we will read from this paragraph and in the next class, we will discuss the uh, remaining parts of the story. So, let us know the uh, meanings of difficult words. Simple minded means not clever or intelligent. Then, guessing means looking at something in an observing manner or peer, the other one for guessing. Then, behold, okay. Then, absolutely means completely or totally, totally. Then, nag, nag means kept complaining continuously, okay. Then, which is often irritating. Then, fed up. Fed up means annoyed, irritated, unhappy or bored. Then, taunts. Taunts means say unkind things to someone. Okay? Say unkind things. Then, barren. Barren means a, cylindri a cylindrical container or cask. The another word for barren is cask. Then, odd. Odd means strange, something funny. Or abnormal. Okay? Then, assortment means a collection of different things or a mixture. Then, strange means unusual, unknown, unfamiliar, or old. Then, considerate. Considerate means always thinking of other people's wishes or feelings. Then, trudge. Trudge means walk slowly with heavy steps. Then, skittle. Skittle is one type of game. Then, switch means to drink something quickly. Then, decanter. Decanter means a glass bottle which is often de decorated or designed. Then, help. Help means to call out to someone. Then, refreshing. Refreshing means fresh, resourceful, stimulating. Okay? So, Rip Van Winkle, the story which was uh, written uh, by Washington Irving. Okay, so what Washington Irving is the writer of this story and he was an American author. Okay, so it was first published in 1890. Okay, in the book that is the sketch, the sketchbook, the sketchbook, sketchbook, in this book the story was published. Okay. So, uh, let us discuss some uh, questions regarding the person we have discussed in this class.
Okay. So the first question: What type of person Rip Van Winkle was? Okay. <coughs> what type of person? Rip Van Winkle. Rip Van Winkle was a simple-minded young man who was friendly and helping to others in nature. Then. Write about uh, Reeves wife. Okay, so what kind of person uh, Reeves wife was? So Dan Van Winkle is the name of his wife. Okay, and she was uh, he was continuously nagging or scolding him for Reeve. Okay, for Reeve was doing nothing for his family. Then what did Rip Van Winkle do? Okay, what did Rip the big man will kill do being fed up or irritated with his wife. So Rick Van Winkle wanted to escape from his uh, wife uh, by forsaking his home and staying alone away from his family. Then whom did Rick meet? Whom did Rick meet on reaching the base of the mountain? So whom did he meet? When he reached at the mountain base, Rip met an old man who was bent double, carrying a heavy barrel on his back. So Rip Van Winkle met a met an old man. Then, whom did they meet in their way? What did the what did the strange man offer to Rip? Okay, so when the old man and Rip Van Winkle were going. Uh, up at the mountain. So whom did they meet? So Rip Van Winkle along with the old man came across means met the man. Okay. So uh, both of them, Rip Van Winkle and the old man met the man on their way who were <coughs> playing, uh, who, who were sitting around and playing skittles and taking several sweets. So they invited Rip to participate with them and take a sweet of drinks and also to pay to play skittles. They offered to Rip Van Winkle. So these are the questions uh, we have just uh, discussed in this class. Okay. So in our next class we will uh, continue this chapter. Thank you.